Hello friends! From the looks of it, yes, we're gonna take a look into the new James Charles... <laughs> James Charles, or I should say Morphe and James Charles eyeshadow palette. Being a Pat McGrath fan that I am, I know I'm buying lower quality makeup. I actually really like the Morphe shadows that came out after Jaclyn Hill's first palette, the original big 35 pan one. And from then on, I think they changed their formula and they have been really smooth and easy to use. And knowing how expensive Pat is, and yes, she is worth every penny, some people can't drop that amount of money at one time or even for her smaller uh, six pan palettes. And I think Morphe is a reasonable option if you can afford Natasha Denona, uh, Viziar, any of these really high-end brands but you still want a really great makeup experience in terms of the shadows and just the overall look. I've been playing with the palette for the last few days and I wanted to come on here do a demo for you. I took footage of the swatches so I'll put those clips in. I'll make that a voiceover just so you know what the shades are and the colors. I'll also put a demo voiceover of a look I did with the warm shades. I have the purple... what is this? Hold on. I really should tape this because I didn't have any double-sided tape, but I'm going to tape the shade name overlay to the top because I think that'll just be an easier way to read off the shades, but here it is. This is the, the new 35B, I believe. That was the original colorful palette Morphe released years ago, and James having grown as fast as he did within the last three years. I mean, he's at like 10 million subscribers and it's insane because when you think about people like Nikki Tutorials who's been on YouTube for years and she I think just hit whether it was like 10, 11 or 12. I mean, the growth was just immense over a short amount of time. Kudos to him and the whole thing about the sisterhood and the sister this and the sister that, sister merch, sister eyeshadow, sister this, sister that, sister brushes. It's a whole collection. I didn't get the brushes because you know I'm loyal to Wayne and Sonya G and that's about it. Maybe some other brushes too. I like Zoeva too. Smith. Mm some of those. It's a big tub that's like $150 or the whole thing is $150 or $180. But the thing with the brushes is that with that set, you get duplicates of his favorite brushes and maybe one or two that he designed to be a smaller brush head. And it's all about your inner artist. You have more colors to play with. You can have fun with them. Some are shadows and some are pigments. And he stressed, stressed the importance of making sure you use a primer not a concealer on your list before going in on these shadows. So if you want to see that, then please keep on watching. I'm on the website now because I want to give you the prices, the correct prices. The 35, is it the 35? <laughs> so this is $39, 39 shades, dollar shades, not too bad. Again, here's what the inside looks like. And this is modeled after the original 39A Dare to Create palettes. And this is where they release this, the original format, which is here. You wanna see it side by side, here you go. I mean, James's palette looks significantly brighter, which is the whole point, replacing the 35B, hitting you with the bold yellows, purples, the magentas, and the blues. And here, I think, is a little more user-friendly. You still got your pops of color, but I think it's just a little more muted. And the center row is all transition shades, where the one in James's palette, you have the white and the black, and it's just more of, Yes, transition shade row, but like an adjustment row. You can make it lighter, you can make it darker. Those nuances live in that middle row. And just for kicks, here's Jaclyn Hill's original palette. This is 35 shades, and this is what this looks like. One of my favorite palettes from Morphe, and just in general, I think the mattes, when I try these, I wasn't ready for the butteriness of them. And I was really surprised at how well they blended, how easy they were to use. And I have to say, I experienced the same thing with James his palette. I will say some of the shimmers are not as thick as the ones in Jaclyn's or even the original 39A. So we're going to look into those similarities and differences. Again, you'll see the swatch clip, the demo clip, and we'll take it from there. Here is the look. You want to come in a little closer? Here is the look I used using the purples, but I lied. This actually is from the Jouer Ultra Foil palette that I bought during the uh, extended 
Rouge weekend sale. I wasn't expecting that. Mm. But I received a lot of compliments on my eye look today and I must say that I am extremely happy with the mattes. And of course I'm gonna recommend the palette, not because I love James and he's a friend of mine, nor am I on the Morphe PR list. I do not see any PR from them. I feel you guys maybe wanted an opinion from someone who is not affiliated with Morphe in any way, shape, or form. And I have to say that I liked Morphe shadows more after the Jaclyn Hill palette when they changed their formula a little bit. I think they're really easy to use. They're inexpensive. They are made in China. They're made in China. It doesn't say that it's cruelty free here. So I don't know. If you're strict cruelty, cruelty free, then this palette is definitely not for you. But just some deets again. $39 for 39 shades. You have a shelf life of 12 months. The net weight, you got 75, oh my god, 75.7 grams of product whoa 2.67 ounces of product if we're gonna break that down to what it is per pan 75 so 1.94 grams of product or 0 0.068 so 0 0.7 ounces per pan this is a collaborative effort as you know or didn't know are you gonna focus on me james charles is a highly popular beauty influencer here on youtube and across the social media platform board he is very very popular i think he does beautiful makeup very much about the the creativity and the artistry ideally i wanted to do this video following rocio's uh tutorial using this palette because she is the queen of colorful eyeshadow and blending and just packing on that color like whoa i think i still want to do a follow along video eventually but i wanted to get this review out for you guys if you are wondering about it but i'm not sure how helpful this is going to be because right now it is currently sold out and there is if you go on the morphe website a sign up uh, list for when it does come back in stock. I don't think there's a date right now at the moment But you got a wait list for the palette as well as the brush sets. All right So again, what colors did I use today? Let me see here <laughs> Right. Nope. That's not it. I used Escape and single and then at the top I used 518 Today I wanted to get into the greens because I feel the greens are colors, shades in general that could be a little tricky. So with that, I'm going to go in with my Bioderma with my favorite white rabbit cotton flats that I get from Soko Glam. And we're just going to wipe this off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to show you the box. Oh, and also a note about the delivery. My apologies. I am going so quickly through this review. This is the box it came in, which I think is actually quite beautiful. And the makeup he did for the design, I think is gorgeous. And it came housed in the bubble sleeve and in the actual package it had bubble on bubble and the bubble uh the bigger bubble inserts are recyclable they're plastic recyclable so i made sure i deflated those and recycled listen i'll pay an extra six dollars to ensure that this palette's gonna come in unharmed and also i ordered this on the tuesday at launch and i got it that friday you know what it is i pay for shipping that gonna, is gonna come through for me in terms of delivery time and how it's delivered package wise so Thanks, Morphe. I'm just gonna go, I'm not even gonna bother taking off my mascara because, you know, taking that off is just gonna be a, just a pain. And then I'm gonna go in on this eye. Oh no, did I remember to take my P. Louise? So again, he stressed the importance of using a primer, not just a concealer. I'm not sure what the difference is. I saw some influencers do concealer on one eye and primer the other just to kind of get a gist of you know if there really is a difference let me see i have a makeup bag here uh do i have my p louise yes i do we got her on standby fantastic i also want to go in with my cover fx power play concealer i'm going to use this to just kind of rejudge this area so we could can you know going with this odd demo know what i'm saying but first we, while i do this let's take a look at these swatches see you in a few and here's the outside box again take a look at the inside and nice fresh new pants for you to see mm. unleash you're an artist and here we have first canvas is a matte cream ring light a shimmer pearl so good metallic true gold 518 is a matte neon orange rusted a matte chili orange Halloween, a metallic copper. 
wig, a metallic warm brass. T is a matte dark taupe. Punch me is a matte latte and I mistakenly switched sister shimmer rose gold right on top. Mary is a matte dusty rose. Literally, it's a shimmer flamingo pink. You're kidding is a matte red. Shook is a metallic cranberry. Boutique is a matte maroon. Benny is a matte black coffee. Off to the middle row now, we start with flashback is a matte true white. Face is a shimmer champagne highlight. Tune is a matte light peach. Code James is a matte sunset orange. 10% off is a matte burnt orange. No beans is a matte warm brown. And spooky is a matte true black. B is a matte bright yellow. Guac is a metallic avocado green. Hello is a shimmer blue ice. Playground is a matte neon blue. Brother is a matte true blue. Artistry is a metallic amethyst purple. Love that is a matte magenta. Pinkity drinkity is a matte baby pink. Social blade is a matte lime green. Daddy is a matte forest green. Cape Cod a metallic sea foam blue. Cola a matte royal blue. Acapella metallic navy blue. Escape matte plum purple. Single matte orchid purple. Lastly, skip is a matte neon pink. Yeah, get around my nose a little bit. Now going in with the P. Louise Rumor Base in number three. I'm also going to take my Morphe M421 brush, which I've been using like for... <laughs> Why am I so clumsy? Okay, I'm going to go under the brow. I'm going to recarve. going to just clean this up. Taking my Luxie 120 brush, yes. In with the base to just further buff out under what we carved. It's so tough now because it's getting darker later, or what am I saying? Getting darker earlier, so I'm trying to catch this light, man. Okay, we got the base on. Now I'm gonna go in with the green. Getting my brushes ready. Where's my number four? Now, I found as I was playing with these uh, the few days before, I like to pat the color in first. So, I'm actually going to go in with my Sonia G, the Worker One brush, first. And I want to, you know, start with the crazy shades. I want to go in with daddy i don't the zaddy and the daddy i don't understand i don't understand and i'm gonna pat that in on the outer and inner corner of my lid so i would say that's that is opaque i refuse to use the obvious word for several reasons Dare I say, as I was playing with this palette, it kind of reminded me of Natasha Denona mattes in the way that you can't go in blending aggressively. You just kind of have to pat, pat, pat the color down and then gently blend out from there because the powders move really well across the skin and I feel you don't have to over manipulate the shadow to get the look you you want. Got that shade down. Now again, I'm going to switch to my number four that's dyed in purple because i did the purple this morning and now in with social blade which is the lighter green here coat that brush and now i'm going to start taking it to the top but see this is where i run into trouble because if i pat it in then i'm good but again i think what i need to do with this color because i didn't do this the first time i actually put daddy all over it and I connected the V's with the crease and then I used Social Blade to buff it out. And I like the brush, this brush in particular because it just kind of wedges in my crease and I could really pack in color there because then I feel Social Blade will work better as like a blend out shade that's pretty green man see what i'm saying not too bad now let's try social blade again but i'm now taking it to the borders of daddy oh my god it's getting so dark man using my number four to feather out the edges and just kind of smooth out what we did 
and applying daddy i'm taking that color again the darker green and using my number felt to just punch in more saturation to the outer v and i'm actually going to take my number 16 is it here my number three similar shape to the 16 in with social blade again and now really trying to buff these edges out I think I needed to apply more P. Louise primer. I think I was too light-handed with it. And I feel it does make a difference in how the shadows show up. Not too bad. That looks green. To, you know, kick it up a notch. I'm going to go in with B, which is this yellow shade here. Same number three. Ow. I'm going to wipe that off so we could use the yellow shade to further buff out eye look. But now is more closer to the brow so it's gonna add a little bit of brightness and it's not showing up a whole ton because again if you want this to show opaque pack on the primer and use padding motions but I think actually it works out as a really beautiful blend out shade to add that gradient effect from dark green medium green to yellow so it almost looks lime I'm just spending some time here because I think this was a little dry could have used more primer I'm just smoothing it out so it doesn't look so patchy. Going in again with my number four. Just going in now with Daddy again, but I want to pull this out a little bit more. So it looks like that. From using this, the amount of times that I have, I could say that these mats are fairly easy to use. Even the bold, colorful ones, I think you just have to take your time in blending and making sure, again, if you want that saturation intensity to pop, you pat down the color first and then you go in with the blending after to ensure that the, the colors still have impact. Now I'm going to take again my Sonya G Worker One Daddy under the lash. I'm looking at you because if I look down, it's trouble. Now with my number four, Social Blade to blend out Daddy. I want to go in with a smaller brush because I have like a little like empty space there. You see that? I think that's just from wiping off the shadow and not going in with enough primer there. I'm just gonna fix that, there we go. Then going in again, Social Blade to just blend that out. I'm just taking the number three and feathering out the borders. Ooh, it's getting so dark. Now for the lid. They, well, he has quite a lot of mats and he only has, let me see, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen shimmers. What it okay, thirty-nine minus thirteen is twenty-six. More mats, but I'm just going to use this green here, which is called guac. And then I'm gonna wet that brush. What am I using though? Hello? Going in with my I I've been of course I love Wayne and Sonia, but Sueva makes one of my favorite shader brushes because I think it's such a perfect shape. So going in with guac, I'm gonna wet that with some Max Fix Plus. And let's go in on this lid, man. I was watching Patricia Bright, who I freaking love. She is so hilarious. Do, uh, I forgot the other influencer she was filming with, but they were doing like uh, real sisters trying out the sister <laughs> palette. Boop. But she did this weird thing where she applied the white matte first and then she attempted to apply like the blue shimmer and it wasn't coming out and I just wanted to tell her Patricia wipe off the white matte shadow first and then go in with the shimmer because look she's right they are not like the strongest shimmers of the planet but if you try to put this on a matte white uh, eyeshadow I don't think it will show up no matter how good it is but I don't know that was that's just my opinion because I tried the blue the other day and the blue shimmer is actually really beautiful I apply it with my finger and if I needed a little more pop I would have gone in with more P. Louise on the lid first how's that how's that and something I like about this palette as well is that you can use one of these highlighter shades so I'm gonna go in this one here and it's called Ring Light to the border 
and that adds really nice light to the color i think it adds dimension it adds brightness so that's a really nice touch yeah and now just to switch it up i want to take this color here it's cape cod this really beautiful teal color i'm gonna take that on my pinky and pop it right under my lash line i'm gonna go like this and it's a nice, like, different green-blue if you wanted to change it up and not just go strictly, like, primary green. Because we're looking really primary green on the lid. But to switch it up color story-wise, you could go in with, like, another type of green. To make sure this connects, I'm going to go in with my Zoeva shader, Daddy, and punch that color in so it looks a little more cohesive. I'm also gonna try, Rocio does this, I'm gonna try to put the shadow on my actual like waterline. Do you see that? I don't even know, was I in frame? I don't know. Do I have, you know, another thing I bought, I have to do a Sephora haul because I bought so many things, but I got the new Marc Jacob, the glitter eyeliner. Oh my God. This stuff, I got this color and the gold. Let's do the gold. I think it's one of those things I didn't know I needed in my life. I, this, oh my god. And you know I'm not into, I'm not into liner. But this, I'm gonna do that, hold on. Look how that added just like that pop that I didn't know I needed. I'm gonna use my monitor to apply this because holding a mirror and doing that at the same time is a little nuts. All right, so I think this is it. Oh, excuse me, no, that's not. I'm gonna take the color So Good, this shade right here. I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner, just gonna use my pinky. Again, obviously this palette does not have a mirror because that would be a rather big mirror. And the palette side itself is very big, so, you know, maybe not. If you're packing a lot of makeup and you have the room for it, it probably won't be an issue. But if you're a light packer, I'm not even going to carry that big palette on the plane with you. I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara just to kind of zhuzh up because my poor little lashes got lost with all the uh, taking off the shadow, putting it back on. Just to kind of give them a little lift so you can see them again. But before we wrap it up, here's a demo using the warmer shades. And that's much better lighting. Going in still with the P. Louise base in shade number three. All blended out and ready to go. Now going in with this shade. Oh, I'm sorry I don't have the names on me right here. But using a Wayne number 16. It's one of the bigger pan transition shades in the center of the palette. And here I go in about three times to buff that color into the crease. Going on the same way on the other eye. And now with the lighter shade beside, I use it to buff out the edges to create a nice gradient effect. So Nuji Worker 1 under the lash line with that first transition shade. I've been loving this brush for the lower lash line because it gives me really nice smoke. Now with my Wayne number 4 in with that bright coral color and I just punch that into the outer V because I think it places it well and then it buffs out easily from there. Do the same thing on the other eye and I place that same color to the inner third and eventually connect the two portions through the crease. Same coral shade on my lower lash line with the same number four and then I go in with that deeper mauve shade punchy in the same way that I did with the first coral color speeding you up through here because I feel it's the same technique I've been using and just showing you how the color looks on top of those first two mattes I placed. And I really love the intensity and depth it created within the same color story. Sonji Worker 1, that mauve shade on the lower lash line, going in with the shimmer shade using my fingers between the mattes for the halo eye effect. And then I use the Sonji Builder 1 to place that uh, deeper mauve shade on the inner corner to make it more smoky take the gold color with my pinky to the inner part of my eye and I'll show you a picture of the finished look of how it all came together just to finish it off hope you like that demo I'm gonna use the color here is the big bigger pan in face I'm actually going to use this as a highlighter because since I took some off when removing the eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with my Sonia G Sculpt 2 in with face. Just so you can see what that looks like as a highlighter. And I think it's actually rather pretty. It's, it's gold in tone and it's very smooth once you buff it out. 
And especially since this is a bigger pan, models will take advantage of the, the size, you know? Put a little lipstick on. What we got? What we got? I'm going to go in my huge, my Ofra Long Lasting. Check out Ofra during now, like the Black Friday, like Monday, Cyber, whatever week. They have great deals every day. And I think they have like a 40% off the whole website coming up soon. Because they have the smaller pans and you don't have to actually get the compact. This is a Morph review, but you know, we could talk about all the makeup. If you want to like get the smaller pans and it's 40% off, it's not too bad, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta blend that out, man. I'm actually gonna lighten this up a little bit with the Dose of Colors Desi Katie collab, if I can find it, in the shade My Main. I'm using my Artist Color Pencil from Makeup Forever in Versatile Chestnut. And here's the finished look. What do you think? Listen, I like this palette. I have fun with it, or I, I have been having fun with it, learning about all the colors. I pretty much, I use all the bold shades because I wanted to get a handle on how they perform. And for the most part, like the purples are great. I used them this morning. I haven't, I didn't use the magenta yet, but I use all the blues and I use uh, the orange. The red man is crazy. That's the one that he very is much proud of because he feels that he hasn't encountered a red a true red in a lot of palettes and he wanted one so he put it in here and of course you have like the more neutral shades that you want to go not so crazy with because you got a taupey neutral then you got a warmer neutral here if you want to use as a transition and listen whether you like morphe or not or james charles or not i think it's a great opportunity for those who really love makeup to just have all these beautiful bold colors in one palette and the fact that I feel the mattes perform quite well in terms of blendability, smoothness, the way they glide on the skin and how they pack on color and again they're very easy to use. I understand that shades like this can be very intimidating but I think because of how they're formulated a beginner or maybe like beginner intermediate will have a really easy time using the bolder colors and you just have a wide variety of use here with the white uh, matte shade you could use this to wrong shade you can use this to lighten it up or you can really block out the lid if you want one of those bold uh cut crease looks using like the rainbow eye looks everyone's been doing and then you have the black here to add some intensity and depth to any shades in the palette and you know i think it's just overall a really nice selection of color now people are die hard 35b palette fans and they feel that this doesn't come close that they should have brought it back so that's a whole conversation i'm not such a die hard morphe fan that i feel the need to contribute to that conversation from what i've experienced using this palette in the last few days i really like it and you know before the this came out i really liked the 39a i enjoyed it immensely it kind of fulfilled my olive dreams when i was waiting for melt gemini to get back in stock so when i use these shades i love the eye look i created and this has a green you know you can dip out and cross from there to here to get whatever looks you want and I think this is an overall beautiful palette as well. If you can't get to an Ulta because sometime last week there were an Ulta stores. I don't know if it's sold out in stores or online. But again, there's not a date set for a restock on the Morphe website. So if you're really gung-ho about getting this palette, then make sure you get on that mailing list. Share your thoughts below. Bad or good, we can have a conversation about it. If you love Morphe, if you're not a fan of them, I know as a brand they are very aggressive just in terms of how many like people are in their PR list and just Morphe this, Morphe that. Just from someone who is not on their PR list, who is not an affiliate and can kind of remove themselves from like the drama of it all. I like this palette. I really loved how it performed. I love how I have all the shades in one place. If you want to go crazy green, which I think I really loved how this turned out. It's super rich in green. It doesn't look like what is that? We're giving you Nickelodeon slime eyes. And I thought it was fairly easy to achieve. Like, again, I might have applied more P. Louise just to have a stickier base for the mattes to work with and to show up richer on. Again, though, not too bad. If you want, I could come back on here and demo how the shadows work on concealer versus primer because, again, James really stressed the importance of that and knowing that if you want to get that impact, that color, to use a primer instead of a concealer. Let me know if you guys did that test, if one does, in fact, work better than the other. 
all in all, I'm very happy with my purchase. Thank you, Morphe, so much for not only packing the eyeshadow palette uh, incredibly well, but getting it to my doorstep in a few days' time. Because I think it was like priority. I didn't pay extra for fast shipping, but the fact that it came when I ordered it on a Tuesday and it came in on that Friday, listen, I'll take it. And that, my friends is a wrap thank you all so much for watching i hope this video helped and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and until then i'll see you on here again with another tutorial chit chat demo or review take care and i'll see you again soon